Hey, can I show you something real quick? Of course. Give me Deuteronomy 28. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So the scriptures say, if we didn't listen to the Most High God, all these curses were going to come upon us and take over us. Right. Is a curse a good or a bad thing? It's a bad thing, you right. know what I'm saying? A curse is a bad thing. Give me Deuteronomy 29 and 1. Because he's talking to a specific people here. Right. You know what I'm saying? He said if we didn't listen to him, that the curses was going to come upon us and overtake us. Right. 29 and 1. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 29 and verse 1. Bring it up. These are the words of the covenant which the Lord commanded Moses to make with the children of Israel. So he's speaking to the children of Israel right here. So we about to go on some of these curses and see if you can relate to some of them. All right, Three. bring it up. 16. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 16. Bring it up. Curse shall thou be in the city. So it said, curse shall thou be in the city. When you look at our people in any part of the world, what part do we dwell in? We dwell in the worst parts, right? Right. We dwell in the hoods, right? Right. We don't live in the nice parts like the white Bring man. Right. right. We live in the worst parts, right? Right. You know what I'm saying? It said, curse shall. We live in the worst parts. Right. We live in the hoods. Right. When you go to our place, it's trash everywhere. Right. You go to their place, it's all in order and all of that. Right. The, the trees trimmed and all of that. Right. You know what I'm saying? The streets ain't got cracks or nothing in it. Right. But our part is the worst part. Diapers and all of that. Babies running around with diapers on and no shoes on. Right. And curse. 316. Read the end of it. Curse shall thou be in the city, and curse shall thou be in the field. He said, curse shall we be in the field. You know what I'm saying? Give me Matthew 13 and 38. Bring it out. He said, curse shall we be in the field. We about to explain what the whole field is. Bring it out, right? The field, we was cursed on cotton field, right? Right. We was cursed in the uh, sugar cane field, right. the work field. Right. Any field we get in, we curse. Read right. it. Out. The book of Matthew, chapter 13 and verse 38. The field is the world. So any part of the world that we go to is the field. We curse in the field. Right. You know what I'm saying? The field is the world. So anywhere we dwell at in the world, we, we always want to move, right? We be like, man, I need to move to Texas so I can get a little bit extra money. But right. guess what? When you go to Texas, you still gonna be cursed. Right. You still gonna be cursed. That's it. Oh, give me Exodus 1 and 14. Bring Exodus it out. 1 and 14. Bring it I'm gonna give you Bring hey, it out. this white man got this. He got his uh his ways of slavery from somebody. You right. Know what I'm saying we always been going through slavery. Right. But the white man implemented slavery from a certain group of people. Bring it out. The book of Exodus, chapter 1 and verse 14. Bring it out. And they made their lives. Bitter with a hard bondage, and mortar and in brick, and in all manner of service in the field. So all manner of service in the field. This is talking about the Egyptians and the children of Israel. Bring it out. You know what I'm saying? We always been going through slavery, but the Egyptians had us in slavery too. Right. But that white man, he read this Bible and he knew exactly how to treat us when he was going to take us captive. Read. Right. All their service, wherein they made them serve, was with rigor. So in the cotton field. Didn't we serve with rigor? We, we serve hard bondage. Right. When you go to work now, you got to work hard. But right. who laying in the office? Who laying in the office? Who got the easy job or make the most money? The white, the white, white man. That's, right. that's, right. that's being cursed in the field. Right. That's out. being cursed in the work that's field. Right. Give me uh, Deuteronomy 28 and go to uh, 17. This is the, the best. The book of Deuteronomy, right, chapter 28, right, verse 17. Right. Curse shall thou be thy basket and thy store. So it said, curse shall be thy basket and thy store. Right. You know what I'm saying? Your pockets and our store. When you go to any part of our hood, do we own any stores? We don't own any stores. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? We out, we, don't we make a paycheck every week, but we still broke, ain't we? Right. We still ain't got enough of what we need to cover, right? Bring right. Give me Haggai 1 and 6. Bring it out, huh? You know what I'm saying? Said, the scriptures say we're going to have a hole in our pockets. That's you know what I'm right. saying? We can't keep money. Right. Anytime, what, have you ever heard that saying, man, I take 10 steps forward to take 20 steps back or something like that? That's out. our people. This is in the Bible, brother. Right. The book of Haggai, chapter 1 and verse 6. You have so much and bring in little. So it said you work much, but you bring in little. Right. You know what I'm saying, bro? We work 40 and 50 hours and we don't hardly have any money. By right. the time taxes, child support, or whatever gets us, we ain't got nothing. Right. To take care of our kids. Read. Ye eat, but you have not enough. So we go to the store and we buy groceries, but it still ain't enough. Right. Read. 
ye drink and you are not filled with drink. He said you drink and you are not filled with drink. We right. drink, but we still thirsty. Right. You know what I'm saying? We gotta, hey, if you got kids, them, they gotta eat and drink first. Right. You gotta make sure that, that they straight before you straight. Right. So you got a little bit when right. you get through with that. Right. right. Ye clothe you, but there is none warm. So in the wintertime, you had clothes, but there still ain't enough because you still cold. Right. You're gonna have to buy some stuff. The kids, they, they constantly growing and all of that. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. And he that earneth wages, earneth to put in a bag with holes. So when you get a paycheck, you know what I'm saying? It's like you getting to put it in your pocket with holes in it. Right. You ain't got nothing. Go right. back to Deuteronomy. Bring it out, right? Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 17. Curse shall be thy basket and thy store. So that's what you, we just went into. Curse gonna be our basket and our store. Go to 29 or 26. Bring the book out. of Deuteronomy 28 verse 26. And thy carcass shall be meat unto all fowls of the air. So it said our bodies is gonna be meat unto all fowls of the air. Bring it out. We got hung in them trees. The, the birds and all of that was eating us. Right. In slavery. You done seen some slave movies? Right. Where they hang them on the tree? Did right. you not know that them birds was eating our people? They lynched them. They, they was lynching us and them birds was eating our people. 32. Go to 32. Bring it Verse out. 32. Bring it out. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. So our sons and our daughters was going to be given unto another people. Right. Who did that happen to? Our sons and daughters should be given unto another people. Who did that happen to? Bring it out, right? In slavery. That happened to so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? Our people was given to another people. Right. right. Our children. And thine eyes shall look and fell with longing for them all the day long. So if DHS come to your child, to your house today and take your children, you know what I'm saying? You're going to be looking for them kids and wanting them kids back. Right. 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 And read. It ain't going to be what? And there shall be no might in thine hand. It ain't gonna be nothing you can do about that, man. Right. In slavery, it wasn't nothing we can do about that. In 12 years of slave, when they took our kids, it was nothing we can do about that. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? Go to all for that. Verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. He said, therefore that shall we serve our enemies. You know what I'm saying? When we, we, we didn't obey God, so we gotta serve our enemies now. Read. Which the Lord shall sin against thee you know, and hunger. Okay, and hunger. When you look at their rallies over there, who own it? When you, it want, when you want any type of food, who you got to go to? Yeah. You got to go to who? You got to go to the white man. You got to go to the white man. Read. And, and thirst. And thirst. When you want something to drink, who you got to go to? You got to go to the white man. Exactly. Yeah. Read. And, and naked. When you want clothes. When you want any type of clothing, shoes, or underwear, socks, that do rag you got on your head, who you gotta go to? You gotta go to the white. That's, That's right. Sorry. And then want of all things. If you want a driver's license, a death certificate, a marriage certificate, right. if you want any type of paperwork, you gotta go to the white man, your That's enemy. Right. Right. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. It says, he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Get, get there. Get Bring there. it out. It says, he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he destroyed us. Right. Do we have them yokes of iron on our neck now? No. No, because we destroyed mentally. Right. We destroyed mentally as a people. Right. They did a good job at it, man. Right. They did a good job at it. Bring it out. Give me, uh, give me the sign and one. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. So all these curses I just brought out to you was for a sign. When you look at rallies, how do you know that's rallies? Because it's a what? It's a sign. It's a sign. Ah, that's right. Just like being cursed in the city. Just like being cursed in the field. Just like having our kids taken away from us and there wasn't nothing we can do about it. Right. That was a sign for us to know that we are what? Cursed. That we are cursed, but right. that we are part of the 12 tribes of Israel. Right? Ah, that we right. Israelites. Right. You know what I'm saying? Do you see yourself on this sign? You don't? You so called uh, American black. You from the tribe of Judah. That's Somebody right. else from the tribe of Judah too. Right. You know what I'm saying? Give me 68. And I'm hey, if you stay up here, man, I'm gonna have, you know what I'm saying, when the next teacher come up, I'm gonna have him explain it to you. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So he said, the Lord shall bring you into Egypt again. The children of Israel was in Egypt. Right. But he said he gonna bring you into Egypt again. Egypt right. is another word for slavery. You know what I'm saying? Give me that in Exodus. 
Bring it the out. book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which I brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So the word Egypt means bondage. Right. Slavery. You right. know what I'm saying? So go back to Deuteronomy. Bring it so, out. So what does Egypt mean? Slavery. So Egypt means slavery, right? Bring it Deuteronomy out. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 68. Bring it out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So he said he gonna bring us into slavery again. Read. With ships. With ships. Who came over here to in sh with ships? Who came to America on ships? Who? Who came to America on ships, brother? Trump. Who? Trump. Who? Who came? Read that again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt to slavery again with ships. He said he gonna bring you into Egypt again with ships. Right. Who was brought into slavery on ships? Egypt. Bring it out. Bring it out. We was the so-called blacks right. and Spanish and Native Americans. Right. We was brought over here on slave ships. Right. You know what I'm saying? Read. Thou shalt sin no more again. Bring it out. Know, have you been back to your homeland? No, they out. tell you all the time to go back to Africa. Right. But this ain't our homeland right here. Right. We ain't been back to our homeland yet. Right. right. Read. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. So when you get to this land, off of these slave ships, you was going to be sold unto your enemies. Right. Right. Who was your enemy? Who was you sold to? Who was we sold to? We were sold to the white people. We were sold to our enemies. Right. You shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women. So we shall be sold to our enemies for slave men and slave women. Right. Was we not sold as slaves for slave men and slave women? Exactly. Read. And no man shall buy you. No man was able to save us. Martin Luther couldn't do it. Right. Marcus Garvey couldn't do it. Right. No type of leader was able to bring us out of these situations that we in. Because if they was, guess what, brother? We would be out of these situations that we right. in. We still in these situations. Right. We still in the worst parts of the city. Right. We still horn our people out. Right. We still killing each other. Right. We in the worst. We curse, man. Bring right. it out. Have you ever wondered why we went through slavery? Have you ever wondered why we went through slavery? I ain't never just started better than I always had a thought of better You just found out right. why we went through slavery. So why did we go through slavery? Why did these curses come upon us? Read, read 15 again. Because I want you to understand why we why we going through these curses. Right. It's good to know that we curse, but we need to know why we went up, why we why we under these curses. Read. Right. Verse 15. Read. But it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. To observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day. Then all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So we curse because we didn't listen and we didn't do the most high's commandments. Right. Right. We, didn't, we didn't keep his statutes and commandments. Right. We wanted to do what we doing today. Right. We wanted to uh, buy on the Sabbath. Right. We wanted to cook on the Sabbath. Right. Right. We wanted to worship other gods right. like we doing today. Right. But we're not worshiping who we really, who, we're not worshiping the most high God. Right. We're worshiping man now. Right. You know what I'm saying? So why did we go through slavery? Because we didn't keep God's commandments. Yeah. We, didn't, we didn't listen to what the most high had to tell us. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. 
stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.